Welcome everyone to The Honest Review. Today we're gonna to be having a pretty brutal look at the glorious lineup of gaming mice because these things have just taken off and they're pretty much like always freaking selling out. Okay, they're not literally always out of stock, but they did sell out for quite some time and they're very popular for good reason. They're well made, they're using great parts, and I wanna talk about why they're so successful and the different models that they offer and how they could possibly benefit you and your gaming experience. I actually put a lot of time into this mouse and I have some some good feedback for you all and I think that there are some things that other reviewers are possibly missing and just some highlights that I take away from my personal experience. First off, it's no surprise, all of the glorious lineup of mice are pretty much Zowie mice clones. I covered that in our Zowie mouse fitting kit, which is the ultimate tool for finding out the perfect size and shape mouse for your hand size. So this is a clone of the Zowie FK1. And then there's a smaller version of this Model O that's called the Model O Minus, and that's essentially a Zowie FK2. And Glorious also released the Model D and Model D Minus, which are also Zowie clones of the EC1 and EC2. You can't call them perfect clones because there are some very, very subtle changes in the curvatures right at the front of the mouse, but if you put them side by side and just really compare them to the Zowie FK series and the Zowie EC1, EC2, they're clones. I think everyone can agree. They're pretty much identical. Glorious pretty much followed suit with what Final Mouse has been doing for quite some time. Anybody familiar with the Final Mouse craze? Every single Final Mouse release that has been put out has sold out. The honeycomb cutout in the mouse is to reduce weight. Why? Because you are faster and more accurate with a lighter mouse. I didn't believe it myself right away, but I come from the Logitech G502, which is like a 100 gram plus mouse. And this is actually just a 68 gram mouse. Now the non-gloss matte finish version of this mouse is actually only 67 grams. And then the glorious Model O minus is 58 grams. And then the matte coat finish is only 57 grams. Extremely light mice here. And the effect is definitely apparent whenever you get to using them. In case you don't believe me, I did time trials with this mouse versus my Logitech G502 and my Logitech G Pro Wireless. So on a 100 gram plus mouse, and then an 80 gram mouse, and then all the way down to a 68 gram mouse. And immediately I find that I am faster and more accurate and just track easier with a lighter mouse. It's real. Lighter mice do have an effect on your reaction, your speed, and your accuracy. Now Glorious actually didn't get a lot of hate for cloning the Zowie mice lineup, and I'm surprised by that, but I think the reason that is is because they improved upon the Zowie mice in a lot of ways, and I think first of all, weight, most importantly, Second of all, the cord is now improved. So that resistance in which that cord feels weightless, it almost feels like you're using a wireless mouse, which is crucial. That's why I use the Logitech G Pro Wireless. There's literally nothing like wireless. Now the next thing Glorious improved upon were the mouse skates. So these are actually G skates and they are 100% pure PTFE and they have rounded edges and they are smooth. And it does have a big improvement in that area coming from the Zowie lineup. Now the sensor itself is pretty much identical. This has been the industry standard. It's the Pixart 3360 optical sensor, minimum liftoff distance, thousand hertz polling rate, and you can adjust that DPI in increments of 100. It's an excellent sensor. I mean, pretty much all of these sensors that are out now on the competitive gaming mice are amazing. It's hard to really tell a difference or see a performance difference out of these sensors. So on the bottom of the mouse, we have a DPI indicator light. You can set this to whatever color you want and that will correlate to whatever DPI you have set to that color. And then on top of the mouse, you have a DPI toggle switch. The DPI is adjustable in increments of 100 in the software and it's pretty easy to use. Now the Zowie mice that this is cloning actually don't need any software whatsoever. All of that adjustment happens on the mouse itself. You can set the polling rate to whatever you want it to be, and then you can change your DPI right on the mouse. And that is more geared towards competitive players that can show up to a tournament, 
plug their mouse in and they're good to game. They don't need any software whatsoever. Now the mouse one and two are actually arm round switches. Pretty much the industry standard, bare minimum 20 million actuations. Everyone's using these. I mean, now there are some higher tier mice that are using like switches rated for 50 million clicks, but the 20 million actuations is great. I do have a couple cons I wanna list off real quick. There's a bit of pre-travel on these mouse one and twos. And I noticed that because coming from using a Logitech G Pro wireless and also trying out that Razer Viper Ultimate, they don't have the same pre-travel that this has before actuation. It may be small and hard to notice, especially if you've never used a competitive mouse before, but if you have, you will notice it. Another thing that you're gonna notice is the side play on the mouse one and two itself. So whenever you go down to click and you're clicking hard, there is a little bit of play left to right on the mouse one and two. I noticed that because I'm used to having such a set, firm, crisp, clean actuation out of my mouse one and two, and that comes from me using Logitech. Again, I don't think that's gonna affect most people's performance at all, but to me, it kinda does matter. Now, the side buttons are done very well, extremely crisp, light to the press, and clean actuations, no heavy post or pre-travel. The scroll wheel is probably the biggest con that I have for this mouse. I absolutely hate this scroll wheel. Now, I use my scroll scroll wheel actually for jumping. This helps when B hopping, like if I'm playing CSGO or Apex Legends, I use my scroll wheel as jump. I don't use space bar. But if you are just lightly pressing that scroll wheel, lightly scrolling it, it doesn't catch that actuation unless you're actually pushing down and feeling those very, very light tumbles. And that is a huge con for me when it comes to gaming because I'm actually a really, really light grip on my mouse. I don't heavily squeeze. I like to just feel that it's light. I have a fingertip grip and I just ever so slightly use my scroll wheel as my jump actuation and it not registering whenever it's just a very, very light scroll. That was a huge con for me and just for that reason, I can't use this mouse. Quite literally, can't use it. Now there have been updates to this mouse since its release, so this issue probably has been fixed. Glorious has been on their P's and Q's for quite some time and they are constantly improving their products. For those of you who are asking whether or not I should get that matte finish or the gloss finish, the gloss finish is really for more humid climates and people who struggle with having a good grip on their mouse. And for me, this is a must have. I really, really like it. I actually wish that I had my Logitech G Pro wireless with a gloss finish, but for now, I'm using it with the mat, and whenever I use this, I can tell a big difference in my grip and control. The Model O, Model O minus, Model D, Model D minus, all come in matte black, gloss black, matte white, gloss white. There is a price difference between these. Anything that is glossy is gonna cost you an extra $10. The price for the Model O and the Model O minus are the same, so if you're going with matte, it's gonna be $49.99. If you're going with a glossy finish, it's gonna be $59.99. Is extremely affordable for the components that are put into this mouse and how well it's designed. To be real, it's hard to get this level of performance out of a mouse for that price point. And that's why these things sell so well. That's why they're always selling out. It's because it's that good. And I think we can all agree that the RGB lighting and the aesthetics to this mouse are very, very well done. It's beautiful, truly it's gorgeous, and I love the way that it looks in my setup. For those of you who are worried, like I'm gonna spill my Dr. Pepper all over my gaming mouse and ruin it, don't. This thing is completely sealed, waterproof inside and out, so don't sweat it. So just to round this out, the Model O is an ambidextrous design. The Model D is an ergonomic design. Both of these mice shapes are quite literally almost identical to the Zowie mice. So if you wanna see whether or not they're gonna work for you, try the Zowie mouse fit kit and you'll know for sure right away which one you should get. And all these other companies followed suit coming from the glorious Model O release. Everyone started doing these honeycomb cutouts, like everyone, the G-Wolf, Skull, and Haiti, Cooler Master, MM710, there's just a fleet of mice right now that have these honeycomb cutouts. And like I said, for good reason, it's quite literally proven that just Naturally, you're going to be faster and more in control of your in-game actions and your aim and tracking with a lighter mouse. It shows right away. The second I started using it and I was just jumping from a 100 gram mouse to 80 gram mouse to 68 gram mouse, it shined 
right away. I think that one of the biggest competitors just to the Model O as far as price to performance and what is put in it has to be the Cooler Master MM710, but this is still a very, very well done mouse. And I think that a lot of people are gonna benefit from this greatly. Again, I know we're a little bit late to this review, but the Glorious Mice have been out for quite some time, and I wanted to put some time into using them and just bring you guys my honest thoughts and opinions and my biggest con to the mouse I had to share with you guys. But besides that, you let me know if I've missed anything important in the comment section below. And yeah, I'm like a complete stickler for quality because I worked quality control for so long but there are some minor imperfections in this gloss finish, like right here. There's just this ever so small black dot. And uh, I mean, yeah, we're shooting like 4K up close, personal beauty shots of this mouse, and we pick up every single imperfection. So I just had to show that to you guys. But there you have it, my honest thoughts and opinions on the glorious Model O, Model O minus, Model D, Model D minus. All these mice are pretty much clones of the Zowie mice with a lot of improvements. And and I think that a lot of people stand to benefit from them and they're a great value. I do want to hear you guys' feedback for any of you who have the Glorious Mice. Do you have that same issue with scroll wheel or is this something that they have fixed? But that is it for me guys. I do hope you all enjoy these honest reviews and if you do, don't forget to support your boy. Like the vid, subscribe to the channel, share the content, notification squad, you guys freaking rock. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>